find that little reprobate Jib and beat him. I will not have standards slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Interesting times, <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. 
And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the Taylors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Perdón. Um... Jack. I'm just fine. Why? No reason. Got some guts, that boy. Always said he took after his mother. Oye, sin empujar. Hey, Arthur. What are you up to? Thinking of heading out a bit. You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> Yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but... In reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've Ooh. been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told them? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. 
Young Chilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. So get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Estás seguro? Keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Oh, y encima escopeta nueva. Tata. She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <sighs> No menos. Eres mío. Pues menos mal que le mató al caballo. Thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Damn coward. Go to hell. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. Watch your mouth. All right, all right, damn it. <laughs> Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. We're going for a walk. Come on, I got them. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? 
You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Nah, le vamos a perdonar. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Si me hubiese dado la opción, le hubiese pegado un tiro en el tobillo aún así. Para pa que sepan quién manda, más que nada. Como me gusta este caballo, tío. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. Right. And I'll tell you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had enough to hear with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Vale. Yeah. Vámonos. Mr. White. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. I not sufficiently clear with you, Mister? I don't know why you're sniffing around, but I don't like it. You ought to go now. The hell you do? Me pica el ojo. Mal momento. Morgan, 
cabrones. ¿No me habéis visto la cara? 